Hey guys, what's up? You're probably seeing this camera angle, seeing this PC, wondering why we're here doing this right now. Well, as the title suggests, we're building some kind of AMD-based PC. Well, what's more AMD than this? This is Threadripper, a 2920X, that is a 12-core, 24-thread uh, CPU. And if you didn't think that I could use a CPU for something so useless by its... You know, let me just explain something. I, I don't really know how to word this, but this PC's only job is to live stream. That's all it does. It's got an Elgato H, uh, 4K60 Pro V2, a GTX 980, that's just for graphics output, a 2920X, and 32 gigs of RAM. That's it. Its only job is to live stream on the X264 encoder with its 12 core 24 threads. It's pretty good for that. But this is a Threadripper. So I thought, hold on. It's being, it's pretty uselessly powerful as I'm calling it. So basically it is very powerful, but none, like none of that power could be used because it's only used for one task, which sometimes benefits, but most of the time does not from all these insane cores. So I thought, you know, GTX 980, that's kind of powerful, but it makes sense to put a weaker card in the system because it's not really using the graphics card at all. But then I thought, nah, this is AMD. Let's make this system as uselessly powerful as we can. So, I, uh, I got two of these. Yep, these, if you couldn't tell, are Radeon 7s. AMD's previously, from the 5700 XT, flagship GPU. A little bit about these cards. These were, well, spec-wise, very powerful. Driver-wise, absolutely terrible. I'm still having problems with drivers today, but honestly, on paper, these cards are amazing, hence why I bought two of them. So, sporting 16 gigs of almost unusable VRAM, because no game except for Call of Duty Modern Warfare will use that much VRAM uh, anytime soon, and that's a special case. And, uh, and less cores, but a higher clock speed core. It was like 16% better than the Vega 64s. Videos on those coming soon. But I was thought about using those, but they're liquid cool and these aren't. These are Radeon 7s. Whatever. I'm going to put both of these Radeon 7s in this machine. And I'm putting them in this machine and not like my test build right here. Because this machine is the only PC with a 1300 watt power supply. It's the only one that can accommodate the kind of power these things and Threadripper are going to draw. And even under load, it might not be able to keep up, but I'm pretty sure we're good. Um, every other build has, uh, I think the max I have is 850 watt and then 750 watts in the other ones. But where do I put these? Let's... No, that's metal. Yeesh. I am holding so much money. And I just put it on the edge of a table. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I um I wasn't planning on holding thousands of dollars. These are like seven hundred bucks a pop, so like fourteen hundred bucks. This piece, this PC is gonna be just we'll we'll calculate price at the end. But let's get this weak nine eighty out of here. And by the way, guys, this video serves no educational purpose. I'm not going to like show some like insane benchmarks of me doing like GPU and code on like my and you know rendering out a Disney Pixar film with that sixteen gigs of VRAM or anything? Nope. This is because I want to. Uh, I have not asked anyone if they want to see this. This is something I want to do because this is just cool. And I thought maybe someone will appreciate this card is awesome. I actually love the look of these of these foundation cards, especially the little ones. I'm hoping to uh, do a mod to that to make it look even cooler. More on that, not in this video. Um, we are definitely going to. Yeah, that's not gonna fit there. So definitely gonna have to say goodbye for now. This is gonna mess up my stream for like days. So get ready for troubleshooting on stream, which is basically our usual because I'm worried. So at the start of every stream, I start off installing a new graphics card um, instead of doing it beforehand because I don't feel like testing. So 4K60 Pro, actually, you know, it works pretty well. Uh, it does have some interesting features, but that's not about this, this video. Okay, which one goes in the top slot, red or silver? I think, I think we all know the red one. This is, by the way, the special edition. I actually got an insane deal on it, considering a special edition. But I didn't get the t-shirt, and I'm mad. AMD, please send me a t-shirt. That's all I want. I'll call the sponsor. I'll do, like, two weeks of sponsor spots that are basically useless to you. But still, please, just send me a t-shirt. That's all I want. Short sleeve, though. I know yours is long sleeve, but I want short sleeve. So, let's 
pray we don't break anything, which is super likely to happen because of this situation. All right, we'll use a thumb screw. How the flip does this go in? If you're wondering about the case, this is obviously, well, not obviously to you if you're wondering about the case. This is the tower, the thermal take tower 900. Wow, that does not want to. That does not want to do what I want it to do. Here we go. And some of these cases really want you to struggle to get the cards in. Wow, this card, the size of the card is not really, I mean, it's apparent, but you can't really see it until you realize. I did an R9 Fury X in here, and that thing was tiny compared to these cards. It goes past the motherboard. So you notice that the motherboard is actually sideways, and I thought, that's amazing for showing off these graphics cards. I, I love the design of this case. Um, there are some oversights, like where the USB 3 is going to go in, and also, I don't think I actually... Oh god. I can't. Alright, we're gonna. We're gonna unplug our USB 3 for for now. Well, one of them at least. I've got two more. <laughs> well, two more ports, one more cable. But this is worth it. I just want to turn it on, see. Like I said, I'll tell you guys if the screen's working. I'm not gonna like move the camera around, do any tests. And no, I'm not going to use this to stream. This will literally have a noticeable impact on my power bill. And that's no joke. Like, this thing, it has a 1300 watt power supply. It's going to be pushing it to its limits. Now, these cards aren't going to be under load. But even not under load, they like to munch that power. So, we're going to do something fun. I was about to, like, start crossing power cords just to be fun. But then I realized, hey, that's just not a smart thing to do. Then again, when have I done smart things to do? Is that in? It might be. Let's hope it is. And if it's not, oh well, goodbye, Radeon 7. You will be missed, just like water, when you boil it. Wow, this port is broken. This is... You guys are probably more scared than I am. I just want, like, I just want this to look cool. Like, they could both break, and honestly, I'd be like, hmm, Radeon drivers were worse. I don't think you guys understand. Radeon drivers, no matter what I install, even the old ones, keep causing both of these cars to downclock themselves to 50 megahertz in-game. So, AMD, if you have a fix for that, please let me know. Um, let's pick a card. Oh, also, quick note, apparently, you can crossfire these. Fun fact, you can crossfire these cards. It wasn't advertised, so people assumed you couldn't, but you can actually, cr oh, that's so beautiful. Crossfire Vegas, or Vegas 54s, um, Radeon 7s, though, honestly, same thing. I'm gonna turn this thing on. I am extremely scared of what's gonna happen. There's a lot of wattage. I'm actually, like, legitimately scared. We got fan spin. Fan spin. I was on the wrong side. Oh, this mic uh, trick. I just watched a Gamers Nexus video. And this hit. Did it just turn off and back on? Man, that is already extremely loud. Yeah, that's like... That's just this top fan. Oh, yeah, and also, if you didn't think this PC was, like, risky enough. Risque, I guess you could say. That, uh, that Enermax cooler, not only did I blow up the LEDs in it by plugging into a 12 volt instead of a 5 volt, because I didn't read the manual, um, apparently those, like, break. It is the, the Mark II or whatever, the version 2, but apparently those just straight up break. Who knew? But, um, and we, we got post. I just want to see both.